Hey guys, Danny here today to talk to you about Ben Greenfield's book, Beyond Training, narrated by the author, Ben Greenfield. This is a large book. It's just shy of 20 hours. So if it was a paper book, it would be one seriously thick book. It is chock full of an amazing amount of information. If you know anything about Ben Greenfield, Ben Greenfield is a personal trainer. He is a triathlete. He's a marathoner. He is someone who loves to biohack and experiment on himself. He has one of the more popular, more successful um, podcasts. And he references it a lot in the book. He'll often tell you, hey, for more information on this or to hear my interview with such and such an author, go to podcast number. It, it doesn't come across like he's trying to sell you anything or like he's trying to hook you on his podcast or anything like that. It's just, here's another source for you. The, the, the range that this book covers is phenomenal. Do not make the mistake in the beginning of the book of thinking, okay, this is not going to apply to me. There's nothing in here that's going to apply to me. Because in the beginning of the book, he talks about triathletes. He talks about serious athletes. I'm talking a lot more serious than I have ever been about their athletic endeavors. People who spend 20 hours a week training for triathlons. That's not me. I, I'm not that dedicated. I personally just want to learn, you know, if I get a book like this, because I spent a credit on the book, so if I spend a credit on a book like this, and I learn one thing that will help me to live a healthier life, help me to get more results from my workout, you know, anything like that without causing a super massive investment on my part, the book was worth it. And that's definitely the case with this book. There were chapters where the only thing I got from the chapter was an education. But with the range of subjects he covers, he covers your standard range of subjects, you know, better training practices, better sleep, you know, um, hormones, um, food, nutrition. And then he covers subjects that you don't find in other books, fringe training, um, you know, when, when he covers a subject itself, say his, his, sub, his chapter on nutrition. Um, I'd never heard of FODMAPs before. Maybe you have. I had never heard of FODMAPs, did not know what FODMAPs are. My wife and I are gluten-free, strive to be gluten-free. She's 100% gluten-free. I'm more like Ben Greenfield to where I'm maybe 90% gluten-free. But he started talking about FODMAPs and some of the foods he mentioned and the effect those foods have on you caused me to go, wow, that's me. When I have an apple, I get an upset stomach from it. When I have cauliflower. So it's got me looking at FODMAP. So there were chapters where I got something out of the chapter, something useful, something I can apply immediately right here, right now, which makes the book worth the, the credit spent. There were also chapters, though, because of the wide range fringe training. I didn't get anything useful for me out of the fringe training. There's not a fringe training technique that he went over that I am going to go invest the time and the effort to put into, not because I don't think it would work or not because I don't think it would worth it, but because it's not going to help me towards any of my goals. I'm not at the level of an athlete that Ben Greenfield is at. It just might apply to you. It didn't apply to me though big difference. And that's the thing with a book like this. Don't expect every chapter to apply to you. At the same time, I learned a lot and it was a fascinating chapter. And even though I didn't learn about a fringe training technique that I'm going to adapt and I'm going to apply, it did open my eyes to, wow, well, maybe some of this stuff is actually useful. And when I hear people talking about it or I see something on TV or whatever, Maybe it's not the joke that I actually thought that it was. I, I learned an incredible amount of information from this book. Ben Greenfield 
is a professional podcaster, so he knows how to narrate, and it's his book. It's his subject matter. So you know that he's going to do a good job as a narrator. Most of the chapters follow a pattern. He starts out talking about the subject at hand, say sleep. He starts off talking about the importance of sleep, the effect of a lack of sleep. He explains the science behind sleep, sleep cycles. Now, I'm a truck driver, and a large emphasis is put on getting enough sleep when you're a professional truck driver because there's nothing more dangerous than a sleepy driver behind the wheel. My company has put on several classes where I sat and I learned about sleep, sleep patterns, how to better my sleep, things like that. I still learned things in this chapter that I did not know. So it goes into an in-depth thing that those classes didn't go into, I guess is my point there. But he starts off talking about whatever the subject matter is, talking about its importance, going into the science behind it. There are times when the book can get quite sciencey. So if you're a science geek, you'll really geek out on those parts. Then it goes into his trip and techniques for how to improve it. So things you can do to improve your sleep, things you can do. And some of it kind of mixes in with each other, but this is the general pattern that most of the chapters follow. So, how you know, tips, techniques. Then something I've never found in any other book on health and nutrition anywhere, he goes into the gadgets. Ben Greenfield is a bit of a gadget guy. And he likes his gadgets. And that's really good for us because you learn about a lot of gadgets that you would not learn about unless it was from someone like Ben Greenfield. He doesn't talk about it in the book, but it caused me to do some research on my own. And I discovered that my phone has a blue light filter on it. So now the blue light filter on my phone is just permanently on. It doesn't really change, I'm color deficient. So if it changes the coloring of the screen, I can't tell. So to me, the picture on my screen looks exactly the same as it was, but it doesn't have the same effect on my sleep that it used to, which is good because I work late, I go home, I shower, I go to bed. And when I'm at the receiver delivering, which is the last thing I do, I'm oftentimes on my phone, killing time. I mean, most of us are. What else are you going to do? Sit and stare into space. So he goes into the gadgets and he's got an entire chapter just on different gadgets that are out there. It's a really fascinating book. Like I said, I, if, if I can learn something from a book like this that I can actually apply, something usable, not just learn something general knowledge, but something that I can take and I can apply right here right now to my life and to my training, then I feel like I have spent my money well and wisely. I learned multiple things from this book that I am going to be able to apply and should have a positive impact on my health, my life, and my training. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please send them in my direction. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Then you can turn on notifications and you'll get notifications of every time that I release. Hey, sorry, I'm at a farm and the farmer drove by and waved at me. You'll get notifications of every single time that I release a video, which is about twice a week. Um, most of all, though, most important thing today, make sure that today you have in your life time for at least one good book. Thank you.